standing here with assistant band directors from Southern University, Roger Bain, Brian Simmons, and Kevin Taylor. These gentlemen are uh, part of a, a long line of Southern University arrangers. Back in my day, it was uh, known arrangers from Southern University. It was Eric Baskin, Roy Johnson, Cornell Knight, and Lawrence Jackson. And these two are this generation's Knight and Jackson. I, I, that's a compliment. I could take that. It's a compliment. So, Hi, Anna. So, so tell us, tell us about, uh, tell us about, you know, like, your, 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 your I'm gonna let Mr. Taylor go first. Hey, take that, Mr. Taylor. Well, when it comes to arranging, uh, it's about uh, music and the, what your passion is and what you believe is musical. Uh, I always believed and strived on making music, always. Uh, even with uh, the way we were brought up uh, with, with power, we always knew that when you play with power, it can still be musical. And that's ultimately my goal. So uh, some of the things that influenced me were some of the uh, things that Mr. Rod Johnson, Mr. Eric Baskin, Mr. Lawrence Jackson, Mr. Cornell Knight, and those things that they did. And uh, we just want to take what they did, embrace it, and put it with our creativity. So that's where my range of skills come from. Uh, I would uh, probably pick, piggyback off what Mr. Taylor said. Uh, it really basically comes from uh, the format and the formula that was put in place by the OGs, as I like to call them, the legends. As we, you know, uh, these are the guys who define Southern University sound today, as we know it. You know, we just got the recipe book and we just learned how to put some spice here, some cayenne here, and we learned how to put our own personality with it. But like Mr. Taylor was saying, it overemphasized. It's about making music through everything. Um, my one of my personal goals, what I like to do is, uh, I like to interpret the music for myself. And I like to get the audience to understand what the music means to me, you know, how I perceive it, you know. Um, so if it's a ballad, you know, and it's a love song, and you know, it, it may be rocky and rough, and I got to make that transcend to different audiences. And I think with that, plus, you know, Mr. Knight and Mr. Jackson, Mr. Mr. Hamer, you know, because you can't forget about him. Um, he was a, a key part in the Southern University sound, and you know, and what people forget is he was the only one to do it by himself for a minute. So uh, you can't, you can never uh, take that away from him. But uh, we use those formulas with our own, you know, recipes, and we create what we have here today. Right. Uh, that's the last question, real quick. Uh, tell us about some of the, I guess, what are some of the favorite arrangements that you have done so far since you've been in summer? Thursday. Well, when it comes to uh, my favorite, um, I don't know. I guess my favorite from this year probably would be "He Loves Me." Uh, last year, I kind of like Chicago. Uh, just the, the texture and the richness in the song, man. It, just, I don't know when you're directing it, it just do something to you here. The, the way all the sounds blend together, the balance in the band, and uh, the bass line, just the, the creativity in it uh, from the song. So um, those, those two, I would say, probably some of my favorites. Like a, like a good parent always say, I, it's like my kids. I can't choose between all my children. I love all my kids, so I can't really say who's my favorite over all. But um, uh, like this year. Uh, I like I like Welcome to the Jungle I like some of the simpler I, I tend to The stuff I tend to put my, my foot in I don't know I tend to, tend to just like the simpler things uh, So I would I would say that one uh, Bohemian Rhapsody definitely stands alone uh, You know but the, the weird thing about that is Even Mr. Taylor will tell you You know it's not the stuff that we Put all our time in That people like It's the stuff that we throw together In 30 minutes That people call legendary And has 100 million views on YouTube and you know we can't let that go, you know. So, but um, again, I, I I pretty much like all of my arrangements, um, cause they all are a piece of me. It depends on what day it is. So you know, it's, it's how I'm feeling. Some days I'm you know I'm bohemian rap. Some days I'm handsome, handsome and wealthy. Some days it's, it is what it is. So, uh, this year uh, so far, I like everything. I'm 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 feeling everything. That's why I try to give everything equal playing ground. I'd like to let all the audiences hear everything. So I'm I'm for it all right now.